Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how you can export your Monday.com data into the Power BI desktop with the help of the Power BI connector by Officer for Monday.com. So let's start. First, let's install the application from the Monday.com marketplace, find the application in the list, and add the application to the account. The installation will take some couple of seconds and we are ready to go to the application. You can add the application as a widget to any of the dashboard. I'm going to add to already existing dashboard. Select the application, install the application and the Power BI connector. When you install the application first, it will request you to authorize the access. Please make sure that you use the same instance that you are going to add the connector, because if you have access to different instances, probably this will cause the problem. I'm going to authorize the access and start building my data sources. The connector uses is straightforward and don't need any kind of explanation, but let me just walk you through. You need just provide the name and select the data you need for your future dashboards in the Power BI. Under the items, you'll find all the custom columns related to the items, also users, teams, boards, groups, workspaces, tags, updates are available. We are going to add some additional um, data, such as item activity log and archive boards and the sub items in the version update that's coming coming really soon. What else you can do here? You can filter your data by applying some filters by workspace or by board and get the selected data set into your Power BI. I'm going to save the data source and also show you what you can do with your data source. Right now I can review the data relationship diagram. As you can see, I selected only the items, but one more additional table is going to be exported. And I can edit the data source as well and add another piece of information, such as user, for example. And also, I'm going to show you that you see this clue that this particular field is going to be exported as an additional table. So let's review the entity relationship diagram right now. And as you can see, it's changed and it provides you with additional details about what tables are you going to get in the Power BI desktop. This is for your convenience. If you no longer need the data source, you can delete it. I'm going to copy the link and switch to the Power BI desktop. From here, I select the OData feed and the basic authentication to connect. To connect, you can use the access token generated specifically for your user and use it as a password. No username is required here. And select the data via the navigated preview and unload them into your Power BI desktop. Also from here, you can review the full relationship diagram, what tables are available in your Monday.com instance and review the documentation as well. We have some dedicated guides that can walk you through and help you with the setup, such as installation guide and user guide. Okay, so if we were talking about the Power BI desktop, it would be perfect if you're familiar with the Power BI desktop tools to build your visualization. And uh, the most common use case is to bring the money.com data into the Power BI desktop and merge this source of the data with other data sources that comes from other sources and build one consolidated report and publish the report afterwards in the Power BI service and get the daily updates. In terms of getting the updates to get the latest data, you need just press refresh button and all the actual data from your Monday.com will be present in your data model. Additionally, you can follow our guide how to set up a scheduled refresh on your Power BI service and this way mark this uh, process fully automated. Let's switch back to the connector 
and one more option I'd like to share, this is a support request, as the vendor will be happy to help you during your trial, and if we are talking about the trial, trial last two weeks, you can create a support request related to the connector, or provide some feedback in terms of uh, feature requests, and if we are talking about the pricing, pricing depends on the team size, so if your team is up to 750 seats, the price will be $400 per month. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach us for more information. Thank you!